Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm delighted to welcome you to Let's Play Halo 3, which we'll be experiencing through the medium of the Master Chief Collection. Okay, let's see. Here we are. This game originally came out in 2007, and it's a sci-fi first-person shooter that picks up very, very shortly after the infamous cliffhanger ending of Halo 2. Because this is the first time it's come up in one of my Halo Let's Plays, I did want to specifically mention that this is not an anniversary edition. There is no anniversary edition of Halo 3, and if there were, it would have come out in 2017. Uh, as I say that right now, I suddenly realize that they could be planning to make up for it in 2027, but I'd rather not wait several years just to find out. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yes, there's not going to be any toggling back and forth between old graphics and new graphics, and there aren't brand new cutscene terminals hidden in every level with new content on them. But uh, if it makes you feel any better, uh, Halo 3 marks the point where the franchise jumped from the Xbox to the Xbox 360, so the graphics do have a substantial step up over the base graphics from Halo 2. And uh, actually, there are terminals in this game. This was the one that introduced them to the franchise. But uh, they don't function like the ones we're familiar with, and they're not on every level. In fact, they're not on any levels until a certain point in the game, so don't worry about it. I will tell you when they become relevant. While I'm, you know, laying down the facts, I'd also like to mention that this will not be a blind LP. I, uh, have played this game before all the way to the end, so I know where the story is going before we even set out. Having said that, I hereby vow to do my absolute damnedest not to spoil anything for you guys before it happens. So here's hoping we can all enjoy ourselves. And, uh, finally, and most importantly, I would like to give a very special shout-out to my good friend Spartan Demon, who gifted me the Master Chief Collection. You know, I've acknowledged it before, but really, what is there to say? <laughs> I daydreamed about bringing Halo content to my channel for the better part of a decade. And now, it's possible for me to do this... ...because of you, Spartan. I, uh... I hope you enjoy this series. Because it's dedicated to you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for uh, helping me bring Halo to my channel. Now with all that said and done, I believe we had a fight to finish. Hey, so this is weird. I uh, tried to start the game, and as soon as I uh, got things going, the game disappeared. Like, I thought it alt-tabbed, but the program window wasn't on the taskbar, and hitting alt-tab wouldn't bring me back over. I couldn't see it in the list of things I could select. But I could still hear the music from the opening cutscene. And then I went to the, uh, task manager, and what do you know? Halo, uh, Master Chief Collection is still running. So hey, live demo, folks! I didn't even know that could happen to a program in Windows. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Rival, yes, yes, no skulls. That is generally the idea. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Hopefully this time uh, we'll keep going after I say, let's play Halo 3. They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? 
Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Like the others, you were strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. Was I wrong? This ain't good. Damn. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Gorman? His armor's locked up. The gel layer could have taken most of the impact. I don't know, Sergeant Major. Radio for Vito. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving him here. Yeah, you're not. Oh, crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. Corporal, make it quick. Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. Look up here, sir. <laughs> okay. Now down here? Good. Everything checks out, Sergeant Major. Kick off the training wheels, Corporal. He's good to go. Wait, wait! The Arbiter's with us! Come on, now. We've got enough to worry about without you two trying to kill each other. Were it so easy? We must go. The brutes have our scent. Then they must love the smell of green. You know, the first time I saw that cutscene, I was 100% convinced the chief was dead. They were going to do a 24 hours earlier bit. First squad, you're my scouts. Move out, quiet as you can. Vivid memory of, uh... This Big swell of, uh, warmth when he, uh, reached up and grabbed Sarge's arm. Ah. <sighs> okay! First of all, I'd like to welcome back to the stage, uh, the Assault Let's Rifle. Moving, Chief. Come on, I'll lead you out. This is a different model of Assault Rifle than the one that famously appeared in Halo 1. As you can see already, it's uh, got just over half the size of the magazine of the, uh, the one from Halo 1. But... Uh, it's much more accurate. There's much tighter spray. So it quite balances out. Up and over, Chief! Bravo team, this is Johnson. We got him. Fall back to the extraction point. Over. Much of that. Reynolds out. Alas. Oh yes, you can see your legs. You might have been able to do that in Halo 2. I can't quite remember. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, that didn't sound good. Sounded close. Too close. Those are his brutes on the hunt. Okay, nothing happens if I hit back. Okay, yes, the Arbiter is in fact still voiced by actor Keith David, who is still awesome. I think the guy who was, you know, doing their version of the look at the lights test in this game, by the way, a nice way to bring it back, uh, is voiced by Alan Tudyk, but I forgot to look it up. Very unprofessional of me. I've got eyes on a Over. Oh. Say again, Gunny, you're breaking up. Oh, wait, I can just do that through the magic of editing. Okay, that's the trouble with nameless NPCs. I was actually unable to discover. Although Alan Tudyk definitely is in this game. Along with his old friend Nathan Fillion. Sergeant Major, Phantom Inbound. When we stick together, we're gonna get spotted. Let's split up. Meet back at the LZ. Obviously, the Chief is still wearing the same suit of Mark VI Mjolnir armor that he was wearing uh, in Halo 2. This might surprise you, but uh, despite having just fallen out of the fucking sky, the suit still works perfectly. There's just some ex exterior damage. I think the most noticeable thing is, a great, is that great big scratch on the... I can't do that. On the, uh, on the, uh, the front right side of his uh, chest plate. Jikola. Oh, fuck. What am I meant to do? Oh. Red out, you will. Find them. Up ahead. Single brute plus backup. Oh boy. Yeah, the brutes look a bit different in this game, don't they? Don't worry, he's still a hairy gorilla underneath. He looks a bit different now, too, doesn't he? Uh... The prophets are liars, but you are fools to do their bidding. I mean, he's not wrong. Okay, uh, let me see here. Let me see here. What do I want to say? Well, these guys, the grunts, still breathe methane. Uh, I think you can break them off in this game, though, these tanks. That was not the button I thought it was. Ah, uh, there it was. Yeah, they, they swapped some of the buttons in this one. Uh, reload is now right bumper instead of X. Because the 360 was the first one to have bumpers, and it was no longer in a really awkward position. Uh, you might remember in Halo 2, I mentioned that the grunt, the, the brutes, get the brutes rather, get their own whole set of armor and uh, weapons. Here's one of them. I believe this is the. I don't remember the Spiker. Yes, that's right. It's got you know the nice. Uh, Talons for melee on the front. I guess it called those twin bayonets. It's basically an SMG. If an SMG shot several inch long superheated spikes. Nasty. So you immediately get an impression of what kind of weaponry the brutes prefer, huh? And you can't tell here, I think. But uh, the chief does attach his alternate weapon to his back or to his uh, thighs, because he's got magnetic plating on the outside of his armor. You can actually see your other weapon in this game. Moto Malongo, keep shut. Oh boy. Oh, that's not actually important. Okay. High <laughs> pressure call. Excuse me, Arbiter. Is there not? Yeah. Is that not a cloaking? Fine. I got fooled. It's been a while since I played three. Pardon me a second. Oh, Jeevan unlocked. Can't keep him down. What does that say? Halo 3. Fight alongside and listen to the man, the legend, Chips Dubbo. Oh, I guess. I see. One of these marines is Chip Stubbo, I think the Australian one. Recurring voice throughout the franchise! <laughs> that would have been very embarrassing. Oh my, that's probably not supposed to happen. 
There we go, nice and ragdoll, for fuck's sake. So why is he naked all of a sudden? Uh, I'm going to level with you guys. The grunts and the jackals still working alongside each other in this game. Because only some of them broke off in the Great Schism, it turns out. That's a red card. Ooh, yes. Good. The grunts knew about courage is but fear. When we are victorious, all who serve the prophets will be punished. I should mention something. I've never actually played this game all the way through in single player mode before. I, you know, I just played it with my brothers. Uh, in co-op mode, you, uh, player two plays as the Arbiter, as opposed to the Master Chief. But you never play as the Arbiter in single-player mode. It's all, once again, you know, the Spartan 117 show. Um, and I mention this because when you're in co-op mode, the Arbiter has no ambient dialogue. So I don't think I've ever heard that line before. <laughs> Yeah, they just take all the dialogue away while you're playing, just like with the chief. Hey, sorry about that. You weren't dreaming. It's really me. Good God, it's really you! All set? Flashlight can be turned on and off at will, and it never turns off on its own. I like that. Finally improved on that technology. Um. Oh, yes, this is great. I was starting to mention. They simplified things in this. Rather than try to keep track of who's who on which side, they just go with the same groupings that they always used and uh, replaced the elites with the brutes. And they now have their own variation of power armor as, uh, you know, to make up for that, so that they're just not bullet sponges like they were in Halo 2. Sleepers! Take them out. Nice and quiet. I haven't seen any sleeping grunts. It's the one over there that was awake. Excuse me, Arbiter. Unlike the Elite's uh, energy shields, however, when you, uh, you can't melee in uh, dual-wield mode. That was a weirdly delayed sound. Come all a good shanking in their sleep. Oh, no grenade. When you break these guys' armor, it never comes back! It's not a great, you know, plan, but whatever. Uh oh Still no indicator of what my actual health is. So just don't let your shield drop. That's the trick. Well, maybe you shouldn't be working with a Spartan. So if we leave him alone if we, you know, right now, he would his armor would not come back because it has exploded into pieces. But I can't raise Bravo. You find him, get him to the extraction point. So many. That's one of the things uh, that I find troublesome about doing Let's Plays of Halo. There's a lot going on at any one time. Yeah, the elites are still allied with the humans, but that's it. The landing zone is this way. I guess the idea was that it wasn't all, you know, grunts and hunters that sided with the elites. Just those grunts and hunters. I probably should... You know what? I probably shouldn't have to uh, spray weapons on me. You don't reload these, I know that. Oh. Uh, last checkpoint, actually. You've murdered him! Oh, I should probably... 
probably mention that too. New mechanic, uh, equipment, items you can carry out and deploy. This is a personal energy shield. You can walk through it, but no projectiles can pass through it in, uh, from the outside. No, or from the inside, I couldn't remember. Only lasts a while, can't be turned back off once you use it, and it only has one use. All right, all right, it can all right, save your life. I'm not going to trade weapons with you. Nope. I am not surprised. The Arbiter's real name in uh, Halo 2 is Fel Vadami. Battle rifle. Yes, they're both guys. Oh no. Oh dear. Let's see if I can hit you from here. I do wish they had separate, you know, sound effect and dialogue uh, options and the sound options, but whatever. I feel like the sound effects are too quiet, but I don't want to make the voices blare. Oh, got that error again. I took some measures to address it, and uh, hopefully things will be smoother from here on out. But I do apologize for this first episode being just a little bit of a mess. <laughs> uh, you know, it already uh, doesn't help that my mind is so full of Halo knowledge that... Uh, I always feel the need to talk about like 17 things at the same time and keep tripping over my own words and trailing off and... <laughs> ah, hopefully things will uh, improve from here on out. Uh. So yes, I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Halo 3 as we continue trying to regroup with humanity's military forces get back to the fight to save the world. Later!